This is Kelly Liberator with BASF and we're here at our research farm in Pine Level, North Carolina taking a look at some of our wheat. As you can see behind me, we've got some really, really nice looking wheat and we're scouting to see what growth stage it's at and what management decisions will come next in the season. So I've pulled a couple of our wheat heads and as you can see, the entire spike has emerged from the boot across the field and we're starting to enter what we call the flowering stage. And there's a couple ways that you can look for flowering. First of all, you'll start to see these bright yellow anthers or the male parts of the, the wheat uh, coming out of the spikelets on the outside of the spike. So you can see them here in yellow. Now wheat is interesting because it starts flowering from the very center of the head or the center of the spike and then progresses upward and downward. So in this case, you can see that we only have anthers emerge at the very center of the head and eventually it'll look more like this where we've got anthers that are bright yellow all the way from the top to the bottom of that weak wheat head. Now when the anthers are actively producing pollen and spreading pollen, they'll be this bright yellow color. However, as we get towards the end of flowering, you'll start to see the color progress from bright yellow to a whitish gray. When you see that, you can tell that we're at the end of our flowering period. And often those white, anthers will remain on the outside of the wheat head for the rest of the season. So you really want to pay attention to the color because it might fool you if you're not looking for that yellow and you could think that you're flowering much longer than you are. In terms of management, the really important decision now becomes protecting our wheat from fusarium head blight or what's also called scab. Now this is a very destructive and aggressive disease in wheat. It also affects corn and it, also, it often overwinters in the corn stubble in the field and then infects the wheat. Wheat is only susceptible to this disease during flowering. So in a fungicide application, uh, the timing is going to be really critical. It needs to be applied at flowering because that's when the wheat is susceptible. I recommend Corumba fungicide at 13 and a half ounces and not only will you get protection from fusarium head blight but you'll also reduce and minimize any vomitoxin or dawn production that this disease produces and that's what you'll be docked for when you go to sell your wheat. Um, also, research has shown that if you're trying to decide when to make that application, as I said, the perfect time is at flowering, right when that wheat starts to flower. However, sometimes it might be raining or sometimes you can't get into the field at that point. So your decision becomes, do you apply your fungicide a little bit early or a little bit late? Research has shown that it is much better to apply your Corumba five to seven days after the start of flowering rather than early. So that's always my recommendation. If you have to choose between late and early, always go within that five to seven day window after the start of flowering. Well, that's how you grow smart with BASF.